Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Blind Willow Sleeping Woman by Haruki Murakami. I actually filmed my introduction to this, but I don't know what happened to it, so we're going to go back over it again. I'm going to read you the blurb as normal. Here are animated crows, a criminal monkey, an Iceman, as well as the dreams that shape us and the things we might wish for. Whether in a chance reunion in Italy, a romantic exile in Greece, a holiday in Hawaii or in the grip of everyday life, Murakami's characters confront loss, or sexuality, or the glow of a firefly, or the impossible distance between those who ought to be closest of all. Following the success of Kafka on the Shore comes a collection that gives full reign to Murakami's inventive mastery. From the surreal to the mundane, these stories exhibit his ability to transform the full range of the human experience in ways that are instructive, surprising, and relentlessly entertaining. So as you can tell, it's a collection of short stories. This was actually picked out for me by a friend. I have this list of all the books that I want to read. And uh, they picked out a couple of random numbers corresponding with books on this list to help me decide what books to pick up next. This is what came out. I'm going to read you the contents here. So we have Blind Willow Sleeping Woman, Birthday Girl, New York Mining Disaster, Aeroplane, or How He Talked to Himself as If Reciting Poetry, The Mirror, A Folklore for My Generation, A Prehistory of Late Stage Capitalism, Hunting Knife, A Perfect Day for Kangaroos, Dab Chick, Man Eating Cats, A Poor Aunt Story, Nausea 1979, the Seventh Man, The Year of Spaghetti, Tony Takatani, The Rise and Fall of Sharpie Cakes, The Iceman, Crabs, Firefly, Chance Traveller, Hanalei Bay, Where I'm Likely to Find It, The Kidney Shaped Stone That Moves Every Day, and A Shinagawa Monkey. So we're going to look, jump in now and look at some of my tabs. Again, unfortunately I lost some of the footage, but here we go. Quote here, time of course topples everyone in its path equally. He says here, the, char the character in The Seventh Man says, This is probably why I never married. I didn't want to wake whoever was sleeping next to me with my screams in the middle of the night. Yeah, my uh, ex-girlfriend used to complain about that. I have lots of vivid nightmares. And now uh, one of the ca in uh, in here in Tony Takatani, it says he was 30 at the time, beyond the age for complaining about loneliness. I'm 30 and I'm lonely. We get a throwaway reference to Die Hard 2, which is a movie I really enjoy. You get this conversation here, uh, you're not going to show me your willy, are you? No. And you don't collect little girls' underpants? None whatsoever. Do you collect anything? I had to think about it. I did collect first editions of modern poetry, but bringing that up here wouldn't get us anywhere. No, I don't really collect anything. How about you? Uh, the kidney-shaped stone that moves every day, the concept here I thought was quite beautiful. Among the, women a me uh, among the women a man meets in his life, there are only three that have real meaning for him. No more, no fewer. I don't know how many I'm on. Uh, we get this little conversation. People ask me that a lot, but it's hard to talk about my stories as types. They don't fit into any particular genre. She ran a finger around the lip of her cocktail glass. I suppose that means you write literary fiction. Uh, we have a character here who reads one of the characters who's a writer. He reads their books and he goes, uh, To tell you the truth, I was worried. What would I do if I read your work and didn't like it? Which a lot of people have said to me as well. And it's just one of the side effects of being an indie writer. And somebody says, Your work should be an act of love, not a marriage of convenience. So overall then, yeah, I did really enjoy this collection of short stories. As with most short story collections, it has its ups and downs. But for the most part, it was pretty good. I gave this a pretty solid 4 out of 5 and actually would say it's quite a good place to start if you're new to Murakami just because, uh, you know, you get quite a good cross-section of his work. Uh, sorry again this review isn't any longer than it was, I did lose a bit of the footage and I can't really go back and find where the tabs were, but uh, hopefully this gave you a flavour for whether you're likely to enjoy this book or not. So there we have it, that's what I made of Blind Willow Sleeping Woman by Haruki Murakami. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book, if you read it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.